Hey guys, welcome to this video. It's Blake and today we're gonna to be doing some DIY on thrifted denim. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a tons of jeans in my closet that I don't wear and that I just feel like could be revamped so I can wear them again. And also it's summertime, so I always like to make some new um, shorts for the summer. Time. so so I have about four pairs of jeans that I'm just gonna be doing various things to so let me just show you guys what I'm working with the first jeans that I have are these Levi 550s and they're in like a medium wash and they kind of flare at the end these are a good length on me they don't flood the only thing I'm pretty I think I tore them <sighs> I don't know if I tore them or if I bought them like this but I might just end up taking this off um, so I don't wear these. They're a little tight right now after quarantine and the pandemic or whatever. So I think for these, I think I'm going to cut a slit on the angles on the side. That's the first pair. And then I also have this other pair. This was like a cheap pair that I thrifted. I don't even know the brand name, but they were about $2. And the problem with these is that they're way too short. I don't know why they're short, but every time I put these on, I'm like, ew, like why did I get these? So I'm just gonna turn these into shorts and I've already marked where I want them to be. So that should be pretty simple with these. They're really no good to me as pants. So I'm gonna cut these into shorts. And the last pair of jeans that I have are some of my favorite jeans that I've thrifted. These are also Levi 550 in a lighter wash. I really like these jeans, so I'm not gonna do too much because these are a really good pair of jeans. I, the fit is, it could be a little bit better, but it's pretty good. So I'm just going to add a hole in the knee to take it up a notch. I have a lot of just plain jeans, no holes, so I think these would be good and I love a light wash denim. I don't have any ripped light wash denim, so I'm gonna just put some holes in these. These are some of the better jeans that I've thrifted before and they're Levi and I really like the wash. I think I'm just tired of them like this, so I'm gonna cut some knee holes in these because I've gotten my wear out of them just like plain like this. I'm gonna cut knee holes. So I'm just gonna bend down and make the mark. My knee is here. Yeah, I think that'll be cute. Can you see the circles? <laughs> and then the last pair I have are some shorts. I think these a few years ago, they're Wrangler. They are like, what do they call these jorts or something? Like jean shorts, they're like Bermuda length. So I'm just gonna be cutting the end off in hopes of like making it look a little bit better. Right now they just look, mm. So I'm gonna keep the length, but just cut off and make it a frayed end. So I'm just gonna cut the ends off of these cause it's kind of like flaring out, looking a little eh in my opinion. So I'm just gonna mark that I'm cutting the ends off, but I should remember that. Like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these up. So let's start that. These, I'm just going to cut the ends off. Very simple, so. 
just have to go for it. And I'm using this hem that ha that it has as the guideline. All right, so that was easy peasy and it's super fast. So I want these to be kind of like a sleeker look like uh, I want to be able to dress these up sometimes or try to. So I'm just going to let the washing machine do the rest of the fraying. I'm not going to do anything else and I'm just going to keep these pretty plain. So that's it for the jean shorts. Next are the pants that are too short. So I already tried these on as you guys saw and marked off where I wanted to cut them. When cutting them, mark it off and then cut longer, try them on and then cut some more off just so you don't cut too short because after you cut too short and then like your butt's hanging out or like the thigh is uncomfortable, like you cut way up into like, you know, the crotch area, then they're just kind of ruined. And also when you're cutting, you want to make sure you're not cutting the pocket. So uh, make sure you like pull it up so you don't cut it. I'm also not too worried about each side looking exactly the same. Uh, I want these to kind of be a little bit more like free, free and like messy. All right, so these are the shorts and as you can see the back is like longer than the top and that's why I like to cut them separately now. I used to just cut all at once but when marking it off you kind of customize it a little bit more so you don't cut too much off because sometimes if you if you like line it up and cut from the front the back is going to be really short and I don't always want my butt hanging out so I want the back to be a little bit longer so that's why I did it separately. These look pretty even and cute. So these are done for now. This is what they look like. Okay, so these are the dark Levi's and with these I'm just gonna be cutting a slit. Which I'm gonna measure how long it is so I can make sure it's even on both sides. This is just a little grid thingy. I think I'm gonna cut like, kind of like a U shape around this hem. So I don't want like this to be cut and then this to still have like the thick hem on it. I'm gonna cut like this whole like hem part off of it. So if you can see, it has like a whole hem in here and I'm gonna cut all of that out. I don't wanna leave any of it. So it looks like this. Okay, and with these I also wanted to cut a slit under the pocket, so I'm just gonna go for it. If I ruin these, it'll be okay. So I'm just gonna create a hole. And then the line's kinda gone, but I'm just gonna go around the line that I made. And instead of cutting just like a slit, I'm gonna actually cut a whole shape out of it. Not too wide, but I want it to actually like show. So I'm gonna cut like a little sliver out of it.
And for the last pair of pants, I'm just gonna follow along the circle and cut around it to make one giant circle hole. And then I'm just adding a few slits at the top and the bottom, you know, just to, so, so it's not just one hole by itself. And that's it for these. Okay, so I just finished cutting up all the jeans. So now I'm just gonna try them back on, make sure everything looks good before I put it in the wash. Okay, so the jeans are in the washing machine. I'm just gonna do a regular cycle wash, dry them, and that'll just fray it and it just does all the work for you. So while waiting on that, I just recently got this denim bag from Urban Outfitters and I think it's so cute. I have collected like a lot of patches that I just don't know what to do with so i'm gonna put them on here this is what the bag looks like it's just a tote i love to wear totes they're just so easy and you just throw everything on and the cool thing about this one is it has a pocket in the front so you can keep like you know your phone or something easy access to that so it goes on i usually carry my bag on my left side so my arm would probably be like towards the back so i'm just gonna put it upside down because i have this these number patches that i'm going to put on there and i got these from hobby lobby and i think i'm just going to do it down like this along the pocket like that and then i have this removed before flight thing that i'm going to uh, try and get around the edge like on the handle like that and then i have this is a patch. This is a handmade patch that I got at like, kind of like an art event. I can't even remember what it was called, <laughs> the event was called, but someone made this and I don't even know who, but someone made it, someone in Dallas. So I think I'm gonna put that one here at the bottom or kind of at the bottom because something could eventually go right here. And then I have this Seek Adventure. I think I got most of these from like, this one was made. This one is from Hobby Lobby, I think too, or like, and so like that and I think I'm gonna put that in the center or maybe like on the side like that and then I have the this cherry patch and then like these little character ones I think Aussie sent me these in like a package so I thought these are cute and I especially like the cherry one that's the name I was thinking of naming my Jeep but I'm not sure I still haven't named her I think cherry okay maybe I'll move this one to the side this one in the corner i thought about putting this one like in the pocket like that i thought that could be kind of cute these like on a mount ones are also from now i can either do that or i could leave that space open okay i'm bringing out the heat press this is completely unnecessary these are all like iron on but i have this so i'm gonna use it because it's much easier just gonna press it real quick to get any moisture out. These look really good. This one, not so much. This one's not stuck at all. Oh, maybe this one doesn't have anything on it. Okay, I'm probably gonna need fabric glue for that. I thought this one had an iron on backing, but it doesn't. Okay. And then I'm gonna repress this one because it's just got come up a little bit more. So this is what it looks like so far i just put on some more of the patches the yummy one isn't iron on i thought it was it kind of looks like it has iron on backing but it doesn't so i'm gonna glue this one on 
but I'm gonna look. Yeah, I think that's the last one that I'm gonna put on. I don't think I'm gonna use all of them today, but the rest, like the ones, this one was sent to me sometime, but these are from Hobby Lobby and they stuck on really well. And so are these. These stuck on really well. I used 350. The first time I did 310, it just wasn't hot enough. So 350 for about 30 seconds stuck all these on really well. I got some stitch witchery to finish putting the patches on. So. And to finish off the yummy patch, I decided to just reinforce it with thread just around the edges, just to make sure it doesn't come off. And I indeed did close that pocket just a little bit. <laughs> I just finished and realized like I went through the pocket and the back and the actual bag. So it closed up a little bit. So I, I'll have to fix that later. But yeah, I just wanted to make sure it really wouldn't fall off. So before I show you guys the final results on all the DIYs, I wanted to shout out this video sponsor, Skillshare. Take it away, voiceover. So if you're unfamiliar with Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of expiring classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Some of the classes include illustration, film and video, marketing, productivity, crafts, freelance and entrepreneurship. Skillshare classes include a combination of video lessons and class projects so they can be super hands-on. The classes that I've really been enjoying are customized type with Draplin creating word marks that work by Aaron Draplin. I've been really interested in sharpening up my logo design skills and all around just design skills. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. All right, DIYs are done. First up, the shorts. These are the pants that were too short on me and I cut into shorts. And these look really cute on. I just paired it with a um, long sleeve like Henley, is it? I like a Henley tee from Urban Outfitters and then my tote bar bag, but this is what they look like. Like I said, the washing machine does all of this for you. Really like how these turned out. Next, I have the like Bermuda style shorts that I just cut the hem off. And these turned out really nice. I really like how these look hit with the hem way more. I paired it with a black top from Misguided, I believe, and the ASOS platforms and Telfar bag, I think, my, my white Telfar bag. So I think these could be, I just, every time I see these, I imagine more of a dressier look. So that's why I did like a button down, but they can also be super casual. This is like a true cutoff with just like a, you know, a t-shirt and stuff. So for the pants, these are the dark Levi's that I cut slits on the sides and then I cut a hole under the butt. And these are probably like my least favorite just because of how they fit. Like, I feel like, for the slit, they're just a little bit too short, but I do really like how the cut in the back looks. So these might end up being DIY again, or I don't know, I'll just have to figure out different ways, but I paired it with a graphic tee from Urban Outfitters and my Jordan 1s and just a red little handbag that I thrifted. Lastly, for the pants, these are the light wash Levi's. These are my favorite pair of jeans and I think I'm still gonna love them. I love the knee hole that I cut. 
it gives me like a free like carefree vibe and i paired it with a white graphic tee a sublime graphic tee from urban my white birkenstocks and the tote bag that i diy'd this turned out so good like so so good so here's a close-up of what it looks like i included the keychain that i had and i just used one of these carabiners i got from amazon it came in a pack of like 12 and just an assorted of colors but the green carabiner like plays with the green in this patch and then my favorite part is that when i have it on you see the 1999 like that is just so cute like that's all you see so it's like that and then you look at all of them and it's like oh it's all decorated so i love this i just got this bag so i've only worn it a few times plain but this is definitely like my everyday bag you know casual just catch all bag also a work bag i can throw my laptop in here my ipad so i just love it so much that's it for the diys i think they were pretty successful if i do say so myself this is really fun i've been meaning to do these for a minute now and i'm glad i got to find some like uses for my patches and stuff so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one bye